Yo, yo, yo. Okay, I'm in Belo Horizonte. I ran out of battery during the show last night, so that's why I wasn't able to sign off. I did film with my main camera, so there is footage for Rio. It's just... It's just on the memory card, so... Once I finish with these back-to-back -back shows, I'll put all these these vlogs up because there just ain't no time for anything. So I landed this morning on like zero sleep. Um, came straight to the hotel. I tried to get him to the guy, the Uber guy, to stop at the venue, but he didn't know where it was. So I was like, okay, forget it. I had some breakfast. I slept for about three hours. I've just had la I've just had dinner, lunch and dinner because there ain't not gonna be any time for dinner later. So I stuffed myself in pasta and chocolate and the guy gave me a salad, so obviously I'm really not looking very well. Look at that, look at that cold sore. Look at that cold sore. Oh my God, it looks huge. Let's give him her, let's give him her name. What should we call him, Hank? Hank the cold sore. Hank, why do you have to visit right now? Quite painful. Um, I came prepared because I've been getting them a lot. Obviously, I'm really run, run down at the moment. So I um, brought tablet form of like um, Zovirex. So instead of having it in a, in a, um, what's it called? Cream. I've got it in tablet form. So yeah, I'm taking that. But yeah, look at it. Oh, Hank. Oh, I'd love, love to ruin the party, don't you? Anyway, so, I've just had a shower and I've got dressed. I will show you my vibes. Check out my funky leggings. <laughs> How cute are they? Yeah, so I'm feeling them. Little arrows. And arrows just ignore the belly because I've just eaten. Hopefully it'll, it'll go down a bit. It's full of pasta and, and chocolate. So yeah. I'm surprised that I'm not feeling more deathly, but I think I'm just on autopilot at the moment. It'll probably hit me like the day after tomorrow when I have to go home. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm <coughs> chesty cough still. I mean, I, I got these sachets, which I can only take one a night, so that limit, that's a bit limiting. Um, and I also have some tablets, so I am trying, but you know, it's not easy. Not easy when you're um, on tour. I'm sorry, I'm obsessed with it, but it hurts, and it's massive, and it's gross, and why does it have to be right there? Why can't it be, like, in the corner? The one before I came was in the corner. Nobody could see it. Look at that monster. Yeah, anyway. So, I'm going to head to the venue. It's going to be a whatever happens, happens day today, because I'm tired. Um, and I'm probably not going to get any sleep tonight, so... Great. Great, great, great. Um, okay, so let's see. Let's see what the venue is like. I might sleep on the pavement whilst I'm waiting. I've got a few hours. I might just close my eyes and, you know, rest. But we'll see what we've got. This is, this is show seven of eight. <gasps> We're coming to the end. Um, part of me is happy because I need to sleep. And I'm running out of stuff. Like, you know, your suitcase can only take so many clothes so I'm running out of stuff and um yeah sleep I just want to sleep um but I'm also sad because you know it's it's always sad when when the party's over but I'm going to be seeing them again in October so it's I don't think my my post Hanson concert depression is going to be too bad because I am going to see them and then hopefully they will announce the Christmas stuff and I'll be able to do at least do one or two shows so fingers crossed it is all good in the hood and they have mentioned that they do want to carry on touring next year, so we'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Anyway, yesterday was amazing. I'm not sure. I, no, I didn't. I haven't told you what happened yesterday. Um, those of you on Facebook will know, but, like, it was fabulous. Uh, we we was at the back for the mo. We were we got there really late, so we were not bothered. So we, got, we were at the back for the mo, which is fine. I got to... Um, I got to you know, dance, and I went up a little bit closer to take photos every now and then, videos every now and then, um, and then when it was time for photos, um, Zach kind of gave me the, ah, you again, look, um, Taylor was like, you must be getting really tired, I was like, yeah, I've got the flu, oops, don't really have the flu, it's just a cold, but 
you know what happens my tongue stops working properly and I just say crap in front of TH and then uh, Ike was hilarious he was just like hunched over in the uh, oh everyone wants a hug and a kiss so I might as well just go for it so he didn't even he wasn't even looking at who he was giving a hug or kiss to so that was quite awkward I was like oh nice to see you again uh, uh. yeah and then once pictures were finished Zach whacked me on the back I was like gosh gosh okay thanks for that weird um and then once we finished photos we were we were like herded outside in this like underground area and at first we thought we were all going to go in order line order and that's what it started off like but then people started like, just like joining the queue and then it was a stampede it was a, a mad rush and we got front row and it was fabulous I was we were Ike's side and it was just wonderful I enjoyed every minute of it so, okay, I've been blabbing for nearly four minutes, so it's time for me to go see what the situation is like in the concert, in the venue, which is just round the corner, literally, I just got to go round, it's like on the other side of the bit of the hotel. So yeah, we shall see what happens. Au revoir.
So, I do not know how I managed that. I was 92nd in line and I was just a bit like, mm, okay, whatever. It is what it is. Um, I was just like, you know, resigned to the fact that I wasn't going to get a good view and I was just going to take it easy. But then I got second row TH and like about six songs from the end of the show, this couple decided to leave and I ended up front row. How the hell did I manage that? It's fabulous. So fabulous. Um, update on Hank. He's still there. He's still here. He's still joining the party. Stupid thing. Um, so, it is ten past one. And my flight is at half five. Which means I need to leave at three. And I'm thinking, is there any point in sleeping because you know you get your body all rested and then sometimes having a nap is worse because you feel worse afterwards so i've showered i'm ready for travel because i was stinky and that also means i probably could do i might not shower tomorrow until after the show but we'll see um so yeah I think I'm just going to hold off because, although I'm tired, I'm not, like, my, I'm, I'm not, like, falling asleep. So, I think <laughs> I might just try and hold on and then go to the airport and then sleep on the plane, which is only, like, an hour. And then, you know, sleep on the pavement for the rest of the day. It's the last show. Uh, I can do this. It's the home stretch. And then I've got the long road back on Sunday. Um, so yeah. <clears throat> this tour is turning out to be amazing. I mean, just one bad show, which is not bad considering. Not bad considering. I've done quite well. So yeah. I have nothing else to say. I'm tired and I don't know whether an hour nap is good or whether it'll just mess me up or I don't know what to do. Decisions, decisions. Anyway, tomorrow is the last show and we are going to see what tomorrow brings. There's rumours that people have been lining up since this morning. Or yesterday morning so that's not a good sign so we'll see where I end up on the last show who knows all right see you tomorrow Peace.